family, anyone that's watching this video right now who is either subscribed or not subscribed. By the way, you probably should subscribe, just letting you know. I wanted to let you all know something, alright? The past couple of days have been absolutely fantastic. I have been in more comfort than ever before, and the reason is because of this chair right here. Ewin Racing sent me another chair about a week ago now, and it's, it's made my life a billion times better, alright? I have had another one of their chairs for a year now, and... This chair's even better than their last one. And I loved their last one. I still love their last one. I'm actually going to give this one to my brother, by the way, because he is deserving of a fantastic chair like this. But besides that, this is besides the point. This is not one of those stupid bias videos where somebody gets sent something free and then they're like, oh my god, this is the best thing ever. Look, hey, I have a Nintendo DS. This thing is better than an entire iPhone, okay? This thing is like top of the line most recent technology. No, no, no. Uh-uh. All right. If somebody sends me something, all right, and it's not bad quality, even though I'm going to be doing a sponsored video for them, I will straight up say it's not that great. Okay. But this thing right here, this chair that I'm sitting in is fantastic and I cannot recommend it enough for you guys. It's great. So anyways, I'm going to do an entire review on this chair for today's video, showing you guys some different shots of what the chair looks like. And I'm going to explain from my perspective, from a gaming YouTuber's perspective, why I like this chair so much why I liked my last chair so much, and why you definitely need to get one of these chairs pretty soon, okay? I'm just saying, Christmas is coming around the corner, guys, okay? Thanksgiving is coming around too, okay? You can say thank you to your grandparents, to your parents, whoever the heck else is in your family that gets you guys stuff. Recommend this chair, okay? If you don't know gifts for your family to get you for Christmas, I'm just saying, Ewin Racing Chairs, they're the way to go. So yes, I have a code linked down below in the description. You can use my code, 15% off, you can get this chair. It's one of the best budget gaming chairs you can get in the market today. So without further ado, hope you guys enjoy. Leave a like down below if you do, and let's get into the full review of why I like this chair so much. So first off, I got this chair about a week ago. I've been using it ever since. I know everything that I could possibly know about a freaking chair. I've done this testing for like a whole week now. And starting off at the very beginning, the assembly process is really, really easy. You could be five years old. You could be 505 years old. You could be 5,005,000 years old. Okay? Add a five to that just to make it consistent. But regardless how old you are, how young you are, this thing takes about like 10 minutes to put together. Instructions are really simple and that's a plus, all right? I really don't feel like getting a chair that takes an hour to put together and it's just complicated because I don't have time for that. Most of you guys don't have time for that. I go to college, you go to school, things are rough, all right? I get that, it's November, midterms are coming up, finals are coming up, things are hard. So you don't have to worry about taking forever to put this chair together, okay? So that's plus side number one. In terms of overall comfort level, if I could rate it between one and 10, I'd give these chairs about a 9.5, okay? You can't really achieve a 10 because there isn't like that absolute perfect gaming chair or else every other company would be out of business. There are those pros and cons of every single different gaming chair, but I'd have to say comfort is definitely a strong point with Ewin Racing. Now, you are going to get a very high quality chair with the Ewin Racing gaming chairs, okay? I am somebody who's personally willing to spend a little bit more to get the top of the line materials in my chairs, okay? So, the only thing that's really plastic are the armrests. Everything else is high quality metal and leather, and that's great. It feels comfortable, and that's the most important thing with a chair, to be honest. Comfort is the most important thing, and this thing achieves it very, very well. Next up on the back of your chair, you can have some nice customizable pillows. You can take them on or off. You can move them up or down depending on how your back is situated. If you're someone who likes to have a lot of back support, you can put it right in the middle of the chair. And that way, you're not going to have bad posture when sitting. That's very important if you're gaming for long hours. You might end up being like somebody who's sitting like this, slouched the entire time. And by the age of 35, you're going to be sitting there with a walker. Do you really want to look like that? Do you want to be in a retirement home by age 45? If you don't, you probably want to get this chair. Let me just tell you. 
Next up with the armrests, they are highly customizable. Even though they're plastic, you can customize them to exactly what the best position is for you. You can move them forward, backward, left, right, up and down. You can move them in and out. And honestly, there are so many different combinations. It's going to take you a little bit to see what is the absolute most comfortable level for you, but it's really going to help you a lot in the end. Now, here's one big reason why I highly encourage you to move the step up from a regular office chair to a gaming chair. Most office chairs, if we put a picture right here, have very small armrests. They're not really that useful. They're pretty low to the ground. And in general, you're going to end up not even using them that much. So you're going to have tired arms when you're sitting there for long periods of time with your arms just hanging there on your mouse and your keyboard. It's definitely going to make your gameplay a little bit worse than you would have with a regular gaming chair. And I, personally, am someone that wants good gameplay. For someone like myself who's not even good good at video games to begin with, okay? Let's just, let's just cut to the facts here. I'm not that great. You guys who subscribe to me know this, okay? I actually notice a visible difference with this chair compared to a regular office chair. Maybe you're somebody watching this video who has a very basic setup, all right, and you have one of those standard foldable chairs. Those things are horrible. Those things are not gonna bring you great gameplay. You're gonna be tired, you're gonna be uncomfortable, you're gonna have bad posture, and when you should be entirely focusing on getting that victory royale in Fortnite, you're instead going to be diverting most of your attention to your butt not feeling comfortable at all, and that's not a good sign. Next up, you can raise and lower your chair a lot, okay? I don't know why anybody would really want to raise this thing as high as it can get. I almost can't even touch my feet on the ground if you do that, but hey, if you're someone who likes sitting up high, maybe you go to the bar a lot, you sit on the bar stools. Well, I mean, this thing is basically equivalent to that, except a thousand times better, okay? And hey, you know that meme where PewDiePie for the longest time was talking about his chair and saying, hey, can you do this? But can you do this? Well, guess what? This chair can do that. And you know the best thing about it? This chair is like half the price of PewDiePie's chair. I'm just saying, I love PewDiePie. I'm not calling him out, but this thing's a heck of a lot cheaper. If you ever wanted PewDiePie's chair, well, you can get the Ewin Racing chair for a heck of a lot cheaper. A couple of hundred dollars cheaper, might I add, okay? The chair that I'm sitting in right now is the Champion Series chair that is on their website. The one that I got last year is called the Flash gaming chair. So there's a variety of different models that they have on their website, and you can still use my code for all of them for 15% off a blanket price, okay, for all of them. And I just want to let you all know, I don't really know if Ewan Racing wants me to mention this or not, but I'm going to do it anyways. Black Friday's coming up. I just want to let you all know that, and I 100% guarantee that Black Friday is going to make these chairs a lot cheaper, so you might want to wait until then to get one of these things, because you can probably use a Black Friday code and my code on top of that and get these things for a much lower price than what they already are, which is already a pretty low price. I guess we should probably talk about the wheels on the bottom of the chair. Um, the one big downside to this is it is pretty difficult to wheel this around on a carpet. Just thought I'd mention that. If you have a carpet floor, might not be the absolute ideal situation for you. You're probably going to have to actually physically stand up in order to move this chair. You're not really going to be able to do it too much actually moving it. Oh, come on! Ah, there we go. On the actual floor itself. So, just thought I'd mention that. If you have a tile floor, if you have a wood floor, if you have a concrete floor, this chair will work perfectly fine. It's going to be absolutely fantastic, and it will work perfectly on those types of floors. Honestly, I just love the sleek design of this chair, and if I was to take the pillow off of this chair, it just feels really nice having this textured design on the back. If I'm wearing just a t-shirt or something like that, like right now I have a jacket so I can't feel it too well, but if I was to wear a t-shirt, a thin shirt, and feel that, it just feels nice on my back, and that's very important. Again, it adds to that comfort level with this chair. And going back to the quality that this chair has within it, there are a lot of hex pins that hold this chair together. A lot of other gaming chairs end up just using regular screws, and they're probably going to break pretty quickly. But with these things, with hex pins, they hold it together for a much longer time. And with my other chair that I've had for an entire year, they show no signs of failing, even though I use it every single day. I get a little rough with my chair sometimes, and it still holds up perfectly fine.
It's got a very nice hydraulic system on the bottom, kind of similar to what I mentioned earlier. It just feels nice. Everything is very smooth. If I was to show you guys from right here, it just, I don't know. I don't know. Sorry, I keep hitting my microphone. Apologies. It just feels nice. It's just very smooth. You have no bumps or any anything that could potentially cause it to go wrong. It just very smooth, very nice. I like it, Ewen Racing. And just as a side note, I just want to let you all know here, um, in this bag, I didn't actually use this in the assembly. You got some gloves. If you want free gloves, okay? They come with gloves that you can use in the assembly. Not really necessary. There's not any grease or anything on the chair. Um, <laughs> but if you want gloves coming with your chair, Ewen Racing, that's the way to go. But in all honesty, that's... Uh, that's basically it. I don't really have much else I could possibly say here about this chair. I think I covered everything for this review. If you were to decide between Ewan Racing and DX Racer, I just want to let you all know, DX Racer, it's overrated, okay? Everybody gets DX Racer. It's overpriced. It's overrated. It's not that fantastic. Ewan Racing, on the other hand, they're much better, and I highly recommend you guys to get an Ewan Racing chair over a DX racer chair, so. So yes, my friends, that's basically it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy this. Um, again, as I said earlier, if you wanted to get this chair, you might wanna wait until Black Friday to get it, but if not, and you just have this urge to get this, or if you're watching this a couple of weeks or months into the future, and it's already past Thanksgiving, um, for Christmas, it's a great gift, okay? Ewin racing chairs. Talk to your parents, talk to your grandparents, talk to your aunts, your uncles, anybody else, okay? All right? Get yourself an Ewin Racing chair because your gaming will go from 0% to 150%. You want those dubs in Fortnite Battle Royale? How about PUBG? How about if you play Minecraft or Roblox? I'd pay. Hey, no discrimination here, okay? This is the best chair for any of those games, okay? I'm just saying, you can't go wrong with an E1 Racing gaming chair, all right? The only downside with this is the fact that it doesn't really work too well on carpet. So, I mean, hey, that might be a big determination between some of you guys, but if you're watching this and you have a wood floor, tile floor, or, you know, literally anything else that's not carpet, you're going to be perfectly fine. I love this chair so much, guys, and wait, hold on, hold on. Ah, there's my other chair. Got to get them both in the frame here. I love both of these chairs. They're absolutely fantastic. Ewin Racing, thank you again for sending me one of these. And um, maybe next year I can do a one-year follow-up or something like that, talking about how well both of these chairs have held up. This one over two years and this one over one year. So, yes, again, this is the Champion Series chair. This is, I believe, the Flash Series chair. Don't hold me to that. I didn't really research it before I made this video. Again, I haven't really looked at the name of this specific chair in a year. I've just been using it, and honestly, that's kind of good. If you don't really go back to the website consistently to see the name of the thing, it's probably treating you pretty well because you don't have to worry about the actual chair itself. In the end, you really want a chair that doesn't even make you think about the chair, okay? You want to just be sitting there in your natural state, totally engrossed in your video game, okay? And not thinking about whether or not this chair is comfortable. It just should be. A good quality chair should be comfortable. And these things do the job. Whenever I'm making my videos, these chairs suit me well. I'm not even thinking about them. I'm totally engrossed in the games that I'm playing, and they're fantastic. There's really no other things I could possibly say about this. So yes, my friends, that is it for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy this review. Again, link down below in the description to their website. Use my code EXOTIC for 15% off. Thank you all for watching, guys. Leave a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for some more gaming content on the channel and real life content. I have a video that I posted recently where I killed my brother for food. I, I do anything on this channel, okay? Anything at all. Whatever you guys want to see, I'll do it. So, um, yeah, that's basically it, guys. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode.